If you want to find out how to turn that into that, and most importantly, why the hell you'd want to, then keep watching. Hey, how's it going? My name's Jane Sarche. I write recipes for a living. Here on YouTube, you can either find me in my camper van, Myrtle, cooking up a one pot feast, or out foraging the little farm I live on in Cornwall. If that sounds like your cup of tea, feel free to subscribe to the channel, ding that bell, and you'll get notified each time we upload our latest video. Okay, this is the humble stinging nettle plant. Gardeners across the planet hate this thing. I personally happen to like it. The leaves are actually really good eating. You can use them in place of spinach in pretty much every dish I've ever tried. And most importantly, what I love are these little things. And these are the seeds. Every year I pick them, I dry them. This is all I've got left of a last year's stash. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what you can do with them once you've picked and dried them. So if that sounds vaguely interesting to you, then hey, keep watching. The seeds are tiny and they hang in these little geometric clusters from just below the leaf on the female nettle. Now the male nettles have hanging clusters of flowers but they're not seeds. If I show you this picture quickly, the plant on the left is male and you'll see that it has these hanging clusters of flowers that are quite loose and spaced out. They're also round. Now these will not turn to seed. Instead, the male flower's job is to release pollen that then wafts on the wind and fertilizes the seed on the female plant, which is the one on the right. Here, the clusters are much tighter, they're packed geometrically, and they're kind of pointed rather than round. I'll pop a link to an article below that goes way deeper on this if you want to find out more. Now there's not a huge amount of info out there on nettle seeds and unfortunately a lot that I found is pretty contradictory. Some herbalists say to pick them when they're green, some say when they're brown. So I kind of take the middle road and I pick a little bit of both. If you're eating them fresh, then I guess there may be some benefit in consuming them green because they do contain essential fatty acids. But as I'm drying them anyway, I figured it wouldn't really matter if they dried on the plant or in my dehydrator. Like the nettle leaf, nettle seeds are packed with some pretty hardcore nutrition. I won't bore you with listing out all the vitamins and minerals and stuff, but if you're interested, do take a look at that article that I've linked to below. Now, nettle seeds are known to act as a mild stimulant, a little bit like coffee. However, you don't get that caffeine slump afterwards. They help with concentration and focus. They can help lift a low mood and boost the libido. I haven't found any contraindications on using nettle seeds and the only kind of mild warning I found was not to exceed 30 grams of seeds a day as they might just zhuzh you up so much that they cause insomnia. Okay, quick break from the stinging nettle collection. This morning when I was having my morning coffee I looked out the window and in my neighbour's field I could see all these little white dots which often means that there's horse mushrooms around. So I'm just gonna wander down the brow of this hill here and just see if we've got any out yet. <laughs> hey, look at that. That, my friends, is success. There's loads there. I can't actually carry all them though, so I'm gonna take my basket back and go and get a bigger basket. Um, and then I'm gonna come back and collect all of these because these are perfectly ready to pick. And it looks like we're gonna have mushrooms for tea. Holy cow, that was a good 10 minutes work. It feels like Christmas. Okay, so I've just cleared one tray. What I wanna do is get the leaf out. So in here, this is just the seed and the little stalk 
that the seeds grow on. Um, I'm going to dry this because then I'll just be able to rub this between my fingers and the seeds should easily come out and then I can even sieve it actually to get the all of the little bits of debris out and just leave the seeds in the bottom. If there are tiny little bits of leaf in here, I don't really mind too much. This is only for my own consumption. However, if you were doing this to sell, you'd want a really high quality product. Look, there's a bit of leaf in there. Um, so you would want to work out a way to get every single bit of leaf out there, in my personal opinion. Uh, so this is all going to be composted, so this won't go to waste. And now I'm going to start on this second tray. And I'll show you the way that I've been doing it. So all I'm doing is pulling out any leaf and separating any little stalks of seeds. The leaves are just going on the pile over there. And then I'm just kind of dragging the seeds over to this corner. Uh, this is a bit tricky with gloves that are too big. <laughs> so try and get some gloves that fit. Uh, some people touch stinging nettles with their bare hands. I am not one of those people. And if you manage to get stung, then make sure you go and make some of this plantain salve because it's the best thing for getting rid of stinging nettle stings. And as with all foraging endeavors really, it's really time consuming. So I would get yourself comfy, have a nice cup of tea or a glass of wine, put some telly on and just kind of get lost in the process really. You can buy nettle seeds if you can't be bothered or if you can't find them in your area. I would imagine that they're incredibly expensive because it is so time and consuming to pick and to process them. But for some people that might be a better option. Okay, it's now like a hundred years later and I finally separated hopefully all of the leaves from all of the seeds and there's actually quite a lot in there. And uh, when you do this, you'll actually work out how good you are at separating the leaves because every now and then if you get stung, you know, you are a bit rubbish. So now I'm going to lay these out onto these like, they're like silicon liners that you get for dehydrator sheets. And then I'm going to pop all of these into the dehydrator. Surprise, surprise. You need to be quite careful and gentle with them because these tiny little seeds, they like to bounce all over the place. Oh, I just got stung. So nice and gentle. Okay, now very carefully into the dehydrator. So this is what you're gonna end up with. This is the last I've got of last year's harvest of nettle seeds. Um, as you can see, stocks are pretty low. So that's why I wanted to do such a big batch today. And then to use these, you can just add a teaspoon or so to the top of a salad or the top of your spag bowl anything at all it just adds another little bit of flavor and lots of those benefits that we were talking about at the beginning of the video you can also make a tea with this so i often make a pot of herbal tea and i've got a range of herbs up there and whatever kind of mood i'm in or whatever kind of lift i need i just pick my herbs and i very often add a teaspoon of these to the pot as well cover with boiling water just let steep for five to ten minutes and then strain it through a strainer strain through a strainer i mean what else would you do uh, into a cup and then just sip that and you've got a really nice relaxing cup of tea and finally you can also make a tincture where you would soak this in an alcohol solution for three to four weeks strain it off and then you could take a small amount of that tincture every day and get the herbal benefits that way so that's it for today beautiful people i hope you enjoyed this video please feel free to whack that thumbs up if you did and if this video has left you with like 101 questions that need answering please drop them in the comments below and i will do my best i am no expert i'm just a bumpkin that likes to play with wild food as always please have a great week stay safe keep smiling and i'll catch up with you in the next one over and out